The answer to destroying these pathogens and odors is Nebupure. Nebupure is a fast-acting, broad-spectrum, multi-surface, decontamination, disinfecting, and deodorizing solution that eliminates 99.99% of harmful viruses, mold, and bacteria on surfaces or airborne in even the most difficult and hard-to-reach areas. The Nebupure system was developed by Watertech Holdings, LLC, which secured the exclusive worldwide distribution rights for this technology from the Battelle Memorial Institute, operating the Department of Energy's Pacific Northwest National Lab. Our proprietary Nebupure disinfectant solution is water-based. It is dispersed into the air by using our patented micro-aerosol generator. The Nebupure MAG-50 is a portable cart-mounted system. It generates vortex air columns to create a submicron dry fog that envelops the room, allowing accelerated particles of disinfectant to seek out and eliminate the viruses, bacteria, pathogens, and odors. The year was 2004, and it was the beginning of a company called Kratovask. Dr. David Cull's idea became the Chemo Access Valve System. Under the FDA's Innovation Pathway Program, Creativask was selected in 2012 to speed the development of the Hemo Access Valve System while still maintaining safeguards for patients. The first part is a revolutionary saline pump device that feeds twin lines attached to either end of the graft, which is surgically connected to the vein and artery respectively. On the end of these lines are inflatable balloons positioned on the ceiling of the graft tube that allow blood to flow through the graft only during dialysis treatment. The balloons are pressurized by saline solution, which is pumped from a closed reservoir located in the loop of the AV graft. To initiate dialysis, a handheld external actuator is held against the skin above the valve housing. Magnets on the tip of the actuator coupled with magnets inside the implant device. These magnets drive a system of gears that rotate, forcing saline to be withdrawn from the balloons and move to the reservoir at the rear of the device. As the balloons deflate, blood begins rapidly flowing through the graft. The actuator is able to communicate wirelessly to the implant device through near-field communications technology. An indicator on the actuator lets the technician know that the balloons are no longer pressurized based on a signal.